What's up guys, Armandy's here and I'm back with another video. Um, this one is about Steam, uh, Steam Home Streaming and uh, this is just to show off how it actually works and if it actually works at all. So I have an old, a very old indeed, um, uh, system which is uh, running a Pentium 4, um, uh, Pentium 4 1 gig of RAM, DDR2 that is, and even um, a 8500 GT from NVIDIA. So right now it's updating my Windows because I I didn't use this machine for a while and when I found out that I got in... Um, anyone can participate, it's an open beta. So if you have a old system and everything is wired into one connection, you can actually try this out. But essentially, this allows you to stream games from your gaming machine to old, old PCs like this one. And as I said, this is going to be a live test. I'm going to be testing this out. I've never tried this before. And um, I have a controller hooked up, a 360 pad. I'm going to see how, if this actually works. And you think this is fake? Well, it's not. I even have this old IBM mouse um, because I didn't have any other mice in the house. But if this works and um, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's bearable and it, it actually functions, then I'll buy a. Uh, I, I'm currently running off of VGA cable. That's the only cable I could have could have find here in my in the house. But if it works, I'll, uh, I'll have a HDMI. I'll buy a HDMI cable and I'm um, gonna run this with sound. But currently there will be no sound, unfortunately. I don't think it actually even supports sound at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna film when everything is set up. All right, so I actually. Um, plug it in, everything now works, and um, I turned on the big picture mode, so as you can see I'm moving my uh, stick and it actually functions fine. So let's try uh, seeing uh, if it actually works, so, um, damn, I don't know these controls, man. I don't know these controls. So yeah, it is running in 1080p currently, but we're going to have to see. So there we go, there are all my games. So uh, let's actually run a sort of weird game, I guess. It actually lags a bit in this mode because, well, this PC is actually very old. So I have a PS2 emulator. Let's see if that actually works. Um, so stream, yes. So it says launching. And um, yes, it is running that. Now, <laughs> unfortunately, since this is a uh, PlayStation 2 emulator, I don't think I can actually do this. I have this. I have a, I have a chair right here, so I can actually maneuver and do things. But yeah, since this is a uh, PlayStation 2 emulator, I don't think I can do much here uh, to really, unless I may be running in in window mode. But I'm gonna try a different game. So give me a sec. All right. <laughs> All right, so I actually went upstairs and um, turned on the the game, and wow, <laughs> let's see if this actually functions. I don't think it does. Wow, <laughs> yeah, but it does run. I'm not sure why it's not responding. Let me try replugging the controller. Okay, so unfortunately my comp my controller is not being recorded by uh, this game machine. If I try mashing any buttons, as you can see, uh, unfortunately nothing happened. So we'll try a different game, I guess. So give me a sec. All right, so I'm now running um, a little more extreme variant. Uh, this is Need for Speed Rivals, the newest one, running on a Pentium 4, a <laughs> one gig RAM. This is so crazy, I, I cannot believe this actually, so um, let me actually try to find you guys a steady camera so I can actually uh, do stuff while I'm actually recording. Alright, so by some magic I actually ru uh, I'm running um, Need for Speed Rivals at 60 FPS, but whoa, whoa, alright, so yes, it is running at 60 frames per second now. My controller is glitched for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why that is, but as you can see, 
Can I access Easy Drive? But yeah, it is running at 60 frames per second. I'm not sure if you can see that. But maybe not 60. Well, it's 40, 45, 30. But it is running. That, this is like the magic here. That it, it's actually running. I'm, run, I'm, I'm, walking, I'm running backwards. I'm not sure why. Can I like do something about this? So the latency is quite high, actually. So um, I don't know, actually, how can I can um, show you this? Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything here. Okay, I think I access the Easy Drive. Oh God! As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm clicking the buttons right here. We can't really see, but the Easy Drive is not coming up. Uh, the latency is huge, and my controller is glitched as well, <laughs> so it's not running in the best of states. So let me come back in a sec with some more information. So I turned off my controller and um, I actually have a uh, proper keyboard here. And as you can see, the latency is huge, so I want to access Easy Drive. Um, so you have to click Num6, um, and it's not coming up. Like, I pressed it, and it's not coming up. Now, graphically, it looks pretty good, as you can see on the camera. I'm not, see, I'm not sure if it's picking up right, but it is looking pretty nice. Like, this is PC experience on a 1080 te te television, and it's running off of this, essentially. Um, so there we go. Easy Drive just came up right now, and um, yeah. All right, so I want to demonstrate the uh, latency. So let me maneuver here a little bit. So... As soon as I'm going to click the arrow key, the car should move up, right? Um, so this is going to show how high the latency is on my particular setup. So I'm running a router which is connected to this PC and which is also connected with my main game PC. Now I'm going to tell you when I'm pressing the button. So one, two, three, I'm holding down the button and there you go. Around three seconds, I'm not sure how long that was, but let's try again. Let's, let's hit break. So, again, one, two, three, holding. So there's a little bit of latency, and as you can see, I'm trying to drive this car, which isn't like a first-person view, and yeah, it's not really that great. I mean, it feels like I'm losing control, and it's, wow, I just crashed. So, does, this is not really playable. I, I think, I don't think this is playable at all, but, I mean... If I could get the latency down by any means, I think I have to like run this in 720p. Then the latency is going to be great. But this is um, a running uh, Frost Engine 3, I believe. So this is what um, a Battlefield 4 is running. And as you can see, graphically intensive games are not the greatest. <laughs> not running the greatest. Or this could be because I'm running in 60 frames per second. There's a lot of factors to this, but. The latency is uh, not great. Ah, damn. It really feels like I'm losing control of this car, and it's it feels like more like a simulator rather than just an arcade racing game, which this is. And uh, the menus are even horrible. So I mentioned that um, Easy Drive is not coming up, so I'm pressing. There, it is now, but if I want to press down, there's bigger latency on the UIs than there is on the actual. So I, I press the button, still not coming up. Still not, it didn't go on the third option. It still, it stays there. Uh, but, you know, graphically it looks really good. I mean, if I had a uh, wireless controller sitting there on the couch playing this game would be quite amazing just by using this stream technology that Steam just brought up. But currently, I mean, yeah, just as I mentioned, it's not really playable on very graphically intensive games. Now, I'm going to try perhaps lowering down the difficulty, or not the difficulty, the graphical settings, like in 720p, 30 frames per second, or just well, I'm going to try a different game entirely. So give me, guys, a, a sec. All right, so Skyrim. Let's see if this game actually works with um, uh, Steam, uh, streaming technology by Steam. Um, um, I don't, I'm not sure if my EMB is even on at the moment. Uh, I think it turns it off. I think it turned it off, but I'm not sure. So if, if I try moving this Hagraven, it's not moving. I think, I think it stopped working, but I'm going to see if it loads up. Ooh, it loaded up. And, um, yes, the EMBs, <laughs> it's actually running. 
wow. So as you can see, I'm moving my mouse, and it, I mean, it's not perfect by any means. It's running at around 20 frames per second. Oh, and there's Feindal. This is actually my friend's um, character, but, I mean, if I turn down, if I turn down a couple of settings, perhaps, it's currently running at 20 frames per second. It's not really playable for me, at least. I'm, I'm, I'm usually playing at, like, above 30. But it functions. It's, I guess, now 16, 17. There you go. Beautiful sun rays. Uh, modded, of course. Not sure if my bad would work with this game, because, um... I think I turned it off or something. I'm not sure. But, yes! Skyrim! If I turn down the stream technology to on 720p, I think it would be playable. So I'm right now testing in 1080 what games I can run in 1080p. And, ooh, I'm drunk, I believe. Anyway, but yeah, it is playable. So, um, I guess Skyrim gets uh, Steam of Streaming approval. Steam of Streaming of, of approval? Alright, let me try a different game. Okay, running NBA 2K14 on um, um, via streaming machine. You can see LeBron face. Ugh. Anyway, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, so running this again. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Uh, I'll be frank. So I'm not even sure what to click here. I'm just gonna click enter. A bunch of enters. Um, so there we go, it's running. I mean, it's running at 30 frames per second. So, a uh, console-like experience. Not really, like, console-like frames per second. Other than that, I mean, it looks much, much better. You're running at 1080, so... This machine, man. I, mean, I could use this. I could actually use this. So, on less intensive uh, areas, it's now running at 50, fluctuating around 55. Um, alright, so I can actually play this game. I don't play a lot of NBA, but when I do, I make sure I win. Anyway, so again, 30, 30, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. I mean, this is an intense area. This is an intense, gra graphically intense area. Now, I'm pr gonna probably lose the ball, because I'm trying to play here with one hand. And um, Alright, so in-game it actually runs at 40, which is nice. I mean, wow. So, um, now how's the latency? So, X. As you can see, it's instant. This is a good game to play. So, I guess NBA gets a uh, seal of approval or steam of ap steamness, approvaliness of approval. <laughs> anyway, so I'm actually going to try more games. So, give me guys a sec. All right, streaming Pac-Man uh, Championship DX uh, Plus. Yeah, Championship Edition DX Plus, so press start. Um, <laughs> theoretically, this should work, let's be honest. If not, then, ooh. Okay, I don't know, I don't know these controls, so play the game, sure. Championship um, Trial, why not? So there's only a couple of, a couple of, all right, oh, this is actually going to work. Yeah, so it's running at 60. Yeah, what do you expect? Whoa, 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 So, since my controller is a bit glitchy, I'll... I kinda... Whoa. So, yeah, it is running at 60. Wow. Wow. This is... But, since my controller is a bit glitchy... Uh... I believe it's supposed to run like this. I don't play these games quite a bit. Um, but... Yeah. As you can see, it goes to the left automatically whoa now the game is kind of running slowly as you can see now I'm not sure if this is because of the latency or if this is because of the um, um, just the game itself I'm, I'm not sure about that particular fact but whoa alright so yeah it is playable don't worry uh, I think this is playable I just need to fix my controller or just buy a new one entirely so, yes, this gets a uh, seal of approval, or just a steam of approvalness. It does work, so if I ever wanted to play some Championship DX, Pac-Man uh, Edition, whatever, um, I will be able to, and I think this is an enjoyable experience. It does kind of freeze a bit, 
But I'm still testing if this is even, you know, worth it to play in 1080p, or should I rather play in 720? Um, but I'm thinking that this is really good. So let me get out of the game and um, test other games. So see you in a bit. All right, so Mortal Kombat 9 um, Complete Edition with a K. So this game, I mean, if you have two controllers, you plug it into this machine and this game on PC, and it also it also is on, of course, on an, um, an Xbox. And ooh, whoa, 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 what are you doing, bro? So it's changing my settings because this controller sucks. I'm gonna unplug it and <laughs> it actually changes my options now. Wow. Yeah, so I think this controller just screwed everything up. I never buy aftermarket controllers unless it's, you know, it's Xbox. Um, other controllers just don't work like this one. This is an aftermarket controller and it has this fancy connection thing and it just doesn't work because it sucks. <laughs> and it's not supported by all the game by all games, so it's another thing that you just have to keep in mind. And yeah, it froze. So, see you in a bit. <laughs> all right, so just to finish it all off running um Magica at surprisingly 15 frames per second. So, I mean, it, it's actually play Now it's running at 30, so it's very fluctuating and ooh. Someone's shooting me. Someone's shooting me with fireballs. Not surprising. It's magic. But I um, just want to finish off this video just to say that it does work. I think this technology is great. I mean, I, I believe this is going to just just to, just improve. And probably in the future, we're going to probably uh, see this running smoothly. I hope so. Because I really want to use... Uh, there we go. I really want to see this moving in 60 frames per second on 1080p and uh, no latency at all. But this is probably going to depend on your um, on your uh, you know internet and how's it working and all this latency stuff. So oh, I just got killed. So it's always going to depend on that. But other than that, I, I believe it's great and it's it's functional right now. It's functional and uh, it's a bit glitchy, but it's functional and I believe I'm going to. I will use it. I'll probably play some games. Unfortunately, there's no sound, but yeah, other than that, it works perfectly. So I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully soon. So see you guys.